Hi, we are on the 10th day of the workshop on how to prepare for job interviews. Today, in terms of internally sourced politics, we had already discussed one factor. The second factor of internally sourced politics is the political condition prevailing among the employees. So what are the conditions that, that are prevailing between an employee to another employee? between an employee to a group of employees. So these conditions of political in nature also may affect your existence in the organization. So you should be aware of them. That is where this session focuses on. Why should you know all this? First and foremost, if you are not aware of the internal politics that is happening between the employees, that means the same level, police level, you will first impact your unity. So not knowing this, if you join an organization, your unity with the employees existing as well as their unity with you is going to be affected. When such an as an environment wherein among employees themselves, they have politics. Your reception will be affected. Your existing conditions will be affected. Your sustenance in the same position will be affected. Next part or aspect that is going to be affecting you is the collegiality. You will not feel like I have my friends in my office, in my organization or in the workstation. I have my friends. I can have my things shared with them. I can have just to talking sake, I have something, some people to attend to or they attend to me. So this kind of feeling that comradeship or the collegiality is lost. Next thing that is going to affect if you have politics between in the employees, is your mental health. You don't know when the other party will get angered, when the other party uh, thinks wrong about you, about on which subject matter. Suddenly, they may start showing antagonism. They may start showing hatredness, anger. They may start showing um, some hesitance to talk to you. They may start developing distance. So these kind of issues will create impact on what? Your thinking, your mentality, your conditions of mental health. Next aspect which is going to affect is your productivity because you lose collegiality, comradeship, you lose your mental health, you lose your unity. These all are going to affect where? Your productivity, your mere purpose of being in the organization is individual productivity. That is going to be affected. At last, where it is going to end, it will affect the organizational growth. That, that will affect what? Your further growth in the organization. So these kind of political situations that are existing among employees creates all these issues. That is why it is better to know and be prepared to face them before you join. So how will you know? Again, this question has two reasons or two sources. One, word of mouth. If you have relatives or friends in the same organization where you are going to join or you are yet to take decision about an organization in which your friends or relatives are already employees, they may share. They might be sharing every day basis or then and there. If not, at least before you take a decision, you can approach them to get to know what is this kind of situation. Next, if these kind of situations have ended up in great uh, impact or problems, they all will get publicized in the limelight. Maybe newspapers will publish those details. That is another source by which you can understand internal politics, 
especially among employees themselves. That means same profile, same level, same group of employees. Okay. With this, let me conclude this session. Next aspects of organizational politics, we will be discussing that next session. Bye.